newest extension of the Swamp Rabbit Trail is officially open in Greenville. Our Lise Devlin has a look and reaction from some local trail goers. Four new miles have been added to the Swamp Rabbit Trail, and it's all a part of the Green Line extension, which connects from Cleveland Park up along Lawrence Road to here, Verde Boulevard. Saturday sunshine made for the perfect first day on the new Green Line extension in Greenville. This project has been six years in the making and residents testing out the new extension say the transformation has been exciting. I've been on the Swamp Rabbit Trail for years now. I love it. It's one of the reasons I love Greenville. First time on the Swamp Rabbit Green Line extension. It's delightful. It's uh, beautifully paved and it's quiet and you can have a whole run to yourself. I really like it a lot. Leaders say the new extension of the trail will bring an economic boost to business along Lawrence Road. People who work nearby tell us it gives them a lunch break activity. We also like to come and uh, during lunch at our meeting stop and go out and take a walk. So the trail's right here. So it's a great, great opportunity to take advantage of it. The extension now makes the Swamp Rabbit Trail 17 miles long, and currently it connects Greenville to Traveler's Rest. Aside from locals, visitors to the area are just as excited. What I like to do a lot is walk. And so last year when I was here, I walked all the way to downtown from this point, but I didn't have this great trail to go on. So we're looking forward to checking that out. With how much they enjoy the new extension, regular bikers say they're eager to see what updates come next. I really like the, uh, uh, this new portion of the trail. It's very shaded as well and pretty nice. So There are currently plans in the making for the Green Line extension to run all the way to Clemson University's Center for Automotive Research here in Greenville. In Greenville County, Elise Devlin, 7 News. We're told Greenville trail leaders are actively working with people in Malden, Simpsonville, and Fountain Inn to connect their trails to the Swamp Rabbit.